The zoom command is quite simple, but yet it can be very complicated. There are very many choices to choose from, but yet most of us use only two, and that's fine. The zoom command is the act of moving closer or farther away from your drawing data in order to get a different view. It doesn't change your drawing in any way, not the line work, not the information in it, just how you're looking at it. There are many ways to zoom. You can go to the ribbon and click on the view tab, then the navigate panel. You can get to zoom this way, which are right here. The zoom button on the ribbon is in a flyout, and you have all of your different options of zooming. We'll take a look at these here very quickly. Or you can just type the word zoom, Z O O M, on your command line. And then you have all of your options available to you. Now, let's take a look at each one. You have the zoom extents. This will zoom you to the maximum well, extents of all the objects. So, if I'm zoomed in really close right here, and I come up and hit zoom extents, it zooms me all the way out so that I can see everything so that it fills up my screen. I can draw a line up here, and I can use a zoom window to zoom in to that little spot, and then come back to my zoom extents, and boom, it zooms it up. Now if I delete that object, my extents are now down here, not up there. So if I go to zoom extents, that's where it will take me. Zoom extents is a great one. It helps you to zoom all the way out so you can see everything in your file, so that now you can zoom back in to a specific spot. And a great way to zoom to a specific spot is with the zoom window. Now if I want to zoom into just this area here, I pick one point and it creates a box. Wherever this box is, that's where I'm going to zoom to. It will fill my screen with that box. And there you go. That's cool. Now another one is previous. This will just take you back to your previous zoomed state. It's a great way to go back and forth. I can do a real-time zoom. This will let you to zoom in and out in, well, real time. See, I have a magnifying glass with a plus and minus. I will click a spot and move my mouse forward or backwards, up or down. Left and right really doesn't do it. It's up and down and will zoom me in in real time. Once I let go, I can pick another spot and zoom in and out there. So that's another way. If you want to go back and forth, kind of like a sports you know, commentator going back and forth. He zooms in, he zooms out. He zooms in, he zooms out. <laughs> you get the idea. I can zoom to all. This will zoom to all visible objects that are in my file. Again, it's very similar to zoom extents, but it's different. So let's uh, do some stuff here to show you. This is my zoom extents. Now I can turn some of these things off. Okay, now this is all that I'm going to be able to see. Let's go back to my view tab, go to the zoom window, and let's zoom in to this little green box. Now, zoom extents will take me out to the extent of my drawing. And then zoom all is to where all of my objects are. Pretty cool. Let's undo this stuff, put everything back on. So you can see they're slightly different. And honestly, I never really use the zoom all. The zoom extents I use all the time. Now, the dynamic zoom is a little different. It sort of does a zoom extents and then allows you to create a new window. So this is nice in that you can make a small window and then move it around. Pick where you want to go. Okay, so if I'm zoomed in really far, I can do two things. I can zoom extents and then zoom window to get to where I want to go. That's several steps, several commands. But if I do a zoom dynamic, it automatically zooms me out and then I can zoom in to where I want to go. I need to slightly position my box where I want, click and then drag to the right to make it bigger, and I move up or down to kind of change my position a little bit. 
This will resize your box. Find your point, click it again, and then I can move it to where I want it to go. If I want it to go right here, I can right click and it will zoom me right in. So let's do that again, but a little bit more quickly and less commentary. So I can do a couple of commands in one way, and I don't have to zoom all the way out, pan across, and zoom back in. I can just zoom out and zoom in. So that's kind of cool. I can zoom by a scale factor. I can just type something in. It goes in by a factor of 10. Or if I want to scale it again, I can do a decimal. So the decimal will make things look bigger, and a whole number will make things look smaller. Now I can zoom center, put in my magnification, and it will essentially just zoom me into that spot and center it on my screen. It's a little cumbersome, can be a little difficult, not really useful a lot of times, but it's there. Zoom object is really cool because then you can pick an object or objects, press center, and it zooms you right in. So this is cool if I'm you know, zoom extents, I'm way out, and I want to go to zoom object, say that box, enter, and boom, it takes me right to it. I don't have to guess how big my window needs to be or anything, it just finds it and takes me there. And these are real-time zoom in and outs. It just zooms in a little bit, or it zooms out just a little bit. So those are nice for little presentations that you're doing. If you're presenting to a client, at a big conference, that you can use those. Now you can get to all of those commands if you type in the word zoom. All of those are available here. Now whichever flyout for the zoom that you used last, it will be available right here in the button, so you can just click the button and it will take you there. Now another way to zoom is with your scroll wheel on your mouse. And this is very simple. In the majority of time, this is all you're going to need. You may never come to this button at all, but you can if you want. See how much easier that was? And wherever I put my mouse or the cursor, that is the focus point for my zooming. So you just scroll your scroll wheel, roll it in, roll it out. That's very useful. And it's also a transparent command. So if I draw a line, then I can zoom in and draw the rest of my line. And if you double click your scroll wheel, that's a zoom extents. So between the zoom extents and the zoom in and out, the majority of your zooming needs are done with your scroll wheel. Throw in the pan command, and I can navigate to anywhere very quickly. Now another quick thing to do is to type in the zoom command, hit W for window, and there you go. And with a command alias of just Z, I can go Z, W very quickly. Or Z and E for extents, I can navigate through that very quickly as well. So the most of your zooming and panning needs, your navigating needs in AutoCAD, will be done with your scroll wheel or you do have available a plethora of zoom type options that you can use.